Hi, thanks for joining me for this episode of Real Living with Jen. Today we're gonna to talk about something fun called the HGTV effect. What is that, you may wonder? Well, hang on just a minute and you'll find out. I'm Jennifer Edwards and I'm a real estate professional in the DFW area. And each week I wanna bring you relevant topics about the home buying and selling process, market updates, and anything really related to your home. So as we're trying to navigate through our new but temporary normals of staying at home, I thought it would be fun this month to focus on things that are a little bit more light and fun and positive as we try and figure out how to beat boredom and um, enjoy our homes and our communities while we're staying at home. So today I am talking about the HGTV effect. So we're still sticking with the home theme, but I'm gonna break down some misconceptions that people have from watching too much HGTV, which you may be doing right now, and what you really need to know. So grab a cup of coffee or grab a cup of tea and let's dive in. So House Hunters, the reality. Who doesn't love watching an episode of Fixer Upper and waiting in anticipation for the grand reveal of the beautiful renovation or maybe you're just like me and you wanna fast forward through all the renovations and just see the end product. As much as we all love our favorite HGTV shows, there's something that can happen to the viewers, which I've seen called the HGTV effect. What this means is the HGTV fans start to develop these reality TV-based ideas on what the home buying process looks like as far as how easy it is to flip a home, how much money you're gonna make if you remodel and do all these major renovations, and how little time it may take to have money in your pocket. So unlike HGTV, the reality of house hunting is a little more complicated than shows like House Hunters may make it look. Where you see buyers choose from three magical homes, all the real estate agent does is open the door and point out obvious rooms like here's the kitchen and here's the living room. So there's never any other offers that the buyers have to compete with. You get an accepted offer in three minutes and boom, you're the homeowner. Mm, not exactly the way that it goes, right? This show happens to miss the pre-approval process, the buyer consultation, setting up an extensive home search, walking through what's more like at least five to 10 homes and negotiating the offer to purchase, doing the home inspections, negotiating any repairs, making sure repairs have been completed, the appraisal process, all of the steps in between. And those are just a few of them. <laughs> so I actually created a free guide called Reality House Hunters, and it walks you through what you actually need to know about the home buying process. So I'm happy to get you a copy. You can just leave a comment and let me know that you're interested in getting the free guide, and I'll be happy to get that to you. Now, let's talk about reality TV renovations. What's true and what isn't? Have you ever watched HGTV and thought, that doesn't look so hard, I could totally do that. And maybe then you turn to your spouse or your significant other and you talk about tearing down, you would tear down the walls and you would totally expand the kitchen and you would move this bathroom over to this area. Or maybe your interest for flipping homes has been piqued as you've watched how easy it is to add some updates and make a ton of money because that's what we want, right? So today I'm gonna to break down some of those renovation myths to help make you help make sure that you're making smart real estate decisions, not HGTV ones. So myth number one, a well done remodeling project can be completed in one day. I mean, come on, we all know this isn't true, but when you are watching these HGTV shows, we forget that we jump into TV world and they're cramming entire renovations into the 30, 60 minute episodes that we're missing all of the major renovations that are happening in between. And we're just seeing that beautiful HGTV result at the end. The reality is most of those major projects would take a significant amount of time and money, more than what you're seeing from these TV shows. And it's important to note when you're watching those HGTV shows and they're talking about what those renovation costs will be, they are talking about what it would be for that market. So that's not necessarily true for your local market. So when I watch shows like Fixer Upper, which I love, and I see their renovation cost, my first thought is, wow, 
that's crazy. There's no way you could do that for that amount of money. But I have to think they're in a completely different housing market than we are here in DFW. So that's something to keep in mind. Myth number two, for a bigger return on investment, tackle bigger renovations. Well, HGTV shows tend to show pretty dramatic renovations that include knocking down walls, moving plumbing around, adding square footage to a house, putting in a huge brand new kitchen, and the list goes on. So, you know, they do a really good job of showing these incredible before and after pictures, but the truth is major renovations don't always result in the highest return. The reality is major improvements are majorly expensive. So if you wanna flip a house to make some extra money, you may be better off looking at homes that need cosmetic repair, but they don't need major renovations. So look for things such as paint colors, flooring, and countertops instead of breaking down walls and changing plumbing around. The other thing that you need to consider when buying a house to renovate is what the market is like in that area. The last thing you wanna do is over remodel for that neighborhood and then you don't have the comps to support the home and you just did all of these beautiful upgrades and the appraisal is not gonna match up to the other homes in the area. So remember, buyers don't care, they don't care about all the money that you just spent on the renovations, they care more about what the neighborhood, neighborhood comps are and can it be supported. So that's a big mistake I see a lot of people make that are flipping homes is they over remodel for their area. So myth number three is that the permit process is super simple. They don't really talk about this in the shows very much, but it is something you need to pay close attention to when you're thinking about major remodeling projects. When you're updating things like plumbing, heating, electrical work, adding square footage, the permit process can actually slow down the timeline of work that needs to be completed. So you may need to wait for approval before before you're able to continue on to the next project. And you need to create, you need to keep this in mind when you're creating those mental deadlines for remodeling projects that you want to do at home. So for example, if you're trying to flip a home and you're trying to get it on the market by a certain season um, in the home in the home selling markets, um, you need to keep those deadlines in mind to make sure that um, you're not in over your head. So the moral of today's episode is do not rely on HGTV for your home buying knowledge. Watch it for entertainment purposes and for great design ideas, but make sure that you stick with a real life real estate professional when it comes to buying a house in real life. So I really appreciate you tuning in. I want to encourage you to like and subscribe so that you can receive my real estate market updates. And um, if you missed it earlier, I do have a free guide, The House Reality House Hunters, and it has everything in there that you need to know about the home buying process that you won't learn on HGTV. And if you'd like a copy of that, make sure you leave a comment or send me a direct message and I'd be happy to get that to you. I'm Jennifer Edwards with Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International Realty and I'm your DFW real estate professional. So be kind until next time. See you soon. Bye.